As tens of thousands of Americans are dying from the opioid crisis each year, today a congressional committee is looking for ways to fight back. Chad Program is in the nation's capital with details. The opioid crisis is not a red state problem or a blue state problem. This is the time to put politics aside and make life better for American people. Potent and deadly fentanyl-laced drugs flooding American streets. That's why the Senate Foreign Relations Committee aimed to tackle the nation's opioid crisis. Experts point to China and the border as two root causes. This is a crisis we cannot solve just within our borders. According to the Drug Enforcement Administration, most of the fentanyl trafficked into the United States is produced in clandestine labs in Mexico with precursor chemicals secured from China. What I can tell you is that at DEA, we view our job as playing offense, as targeting the cartels worldwide. We view DHS's role as, as they have the primary mission of playing defense of stopping fentanyl from entering at the border. More than 150 people die every day in the U.S. from overdoses related to synthetic opioids like fentanyl. The CDC estimates more than 70,000 Americans died from fentanyl overdoses in 2021 alone. Fentanyl is one of the leading causes in both fatal and non-fatal overdoses. For perspective, the synthetic drug is nearly 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times more powerful than morphine. It can kill someone with an amount equivalent to a few grains of salt. CDC data shows that fentanyl is increasingly killing the young. Deaths among children 14 and younger tripled since 2019. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox 32, Chicago.